Majestic Sawtooth Mountain section in southern Idaho is the country's last primitive frontier. For amid these towering mountains and their sun-bathed valleys are many peaks yet unscaled and unnamed and many woodland lakes and glens as yet untraveled. The Great Stanley Basin rimmed by the jagged sawtooth ranges, is one of the finest sheep raising sections in North America. Great herds of cattle, too, have roamed this great mile-high expanse since the white man first pushed his way through the mountains. Nestled among the mountains is the historic town of Ketchum, social center for the stock raisers hereabouts, the hub of the widespread old cow camps and sheep ranges. Life is picturesque in Ketchum, here, the true flavor of the Old West has never lost its vigor. Lady Luck has her followers, too, in this colorful frontier town where the past rubs elbows with the present. Close by the Sawtooth country is one of nature's strangest marvels. It has been designated as a national monument, with rangers of the National Park Service on hand to guide visitors to this remarkable area. Craters of the Moon, they are called, and how rightly named. A weird, unearthly vista greets the eye on every hand. For 20 miles or more, the strange spatter cones, craters, and lava beds stretch in awesome expanse. Over countless eons, the countryside here spit and sputtered, boiled and bubbled in successive volcanic activities, leaving a wasteland of curious formation. The last eruption occurred only a few hundred years ago. Who knows but what the section may flare forth again someday in a great display of terrestrial fireworks. There's no limit to nature's vagaries in this land of marvels. Near Shoshone, at the foot of the Sawtooth Range, are amazing ice caves. You have to put on warm clothing to enter them, even though the temperature outside is well up. Beneath the surface, glistening ice turns the cave into a fairyland. It's ice, all right, and down here, the thermometer is well below freezing. Imagine a magic skating pond of natural ice just a few minutes walk from the arid, sun-baked valley. Majestic is the only word to describe the awe-inspiring canyon of the Snake River, a beauty spot supreme, and wearable oasis, strangely in contrast with the rugged plateau above. Perrine's Ranch here is a landmark of the early days in Idaho. It was an important waypoint for the old stage line when careening stagecoaches were the last word in streamlined transportation for this section. Many a mile that old coach has traveled, and many a story it could tell of Indian ambush or Western bad man.
Amid the impressive charm of the sawtooth country, man has found an ideal spot for year-round sports, from swimming, riding, and fishing, to skiing and mountain climbing. Sun Valley, America's newest playground. A setting of restful beauty, nestled amid imposing mountain masses at the edge of America's last sizable area of virgin wilderness. What a place it is for camera fiends. With all the mountains and valleys and gorges hereabouts, he shoots ducks. There's no sport you can mention that hasn't its devotees here. There are plenty of lakes and mountain streams nearby, but some people like their swimming with a dash of bitters. A novelty in any man's language, an outdoor skating rink of real ice where you can indulge your fancy on the hottest summer day, or if you're not so good, you can watch the experts. What a paradise this is for fishermen. There are snow-fed mountain lakes and streams in every direction. And what fish? Rainbow trout from three to five pounds. Dolly Vardens, too, as well as cutthroats, brook trout, and even golden trout. They just come up and snap at you. Man, if that doesn't stir your blood, you're no fisherman. Have you ever tried the sublime sport of mountain climbing? Most thrilling, but most dangerous of all man's pastimes. Up at the head of Redfish Lake stands majestic Mount Habern, and we are privileged to accompany a group of noted European mountain climbers in their assault on the hitherto unscaled peak, rearing its head 10,000 feet up. They've picked Mount Habern because its bare, sheer sides make it ideal for rock climbing, the hardest kind of mountain climbing. Now comes the challenge of the mountain, sheer rock walls to test the nerve and skill. Working in pairs, helping one another, they go up and up, ledge by ledge. Steady hand and nerve, plenty of nerve, is the formula for this pastime. One slip and he'll fall a mile, but he makes it. They've reached the pinnacle. After countless tense moments, with their lives virtually hanging by a thread, they've reached their goal. Their reward is a view that beggars description. A view supreme of the picturesque lakes and forests and jagged skylines of this wonderland of scenic beauty in the shadow of the sawtooth mountains of Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> 